least, please. Pray for me, kids. Pray for me. Excuse me, do I look rich? Way too much on it. Way too much on Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be testing Pretty Little Tan. So this is a self-tan from Pretty Little Thing. I'm pretty sure this was only about £8, which for fake tan, if it works well, is amazing. Like, fake tan can be pricey as frick. So I got this tan in the shade medium. I think they do a medium and dark. I will link this tan in the description box below. So if anyone wants to go buy it, then you can. So it says on the back, an easy to apply self bronzing mousse for a natural looking glow without streaks, any fake tan smell or orange tones. So if it lives up to that, then I'm gonna be impressed because half the time I end up looking like Donald Trump after I fake tanned. And the orange look ain't cute, sweetie. So to put this on, you have to Put the foam onto a mitt, apply to the skin in long strokes or circular motions, skim lightly over feet, knees and elbows and the hands and then use remaining product to apply to the face. So you can leave this on for just one hour and shower it off if you want just a natural tan and if you want it to go darker then you leave it on for longer. But what I want to be doing is exactly what I do with every other tan and I'm going to be sleeping in it and washing it off in the morning because I like to be as dark as I possibly can. Please excuse the bare face, the hair, and the Monsters Inc. pyjama top. This is all just because we're going to be putting fake tan on, and there ain't no point looking like a fancy Nancy to do that. Anyway, without further ado, let's go test the tan. Please do excuse the mess in the bedroom, and please do excuse the thunder thighs. Apparently we've got a storm brewing up in here. This is my natural colour, probably the shade of the milk in your fridge. I'm literally just going to pump a bit. Oh god, are you coming out? That's it. I'm going to pump a bit of this on there. So it's quite, I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera, but it's quite a brownie colour. So I'm hoping it's going to live by what it says and not turn orange. So I'm going to start with the bottom of my leg. I just want to say I'm not an expert with fake tan, so I'm probably applying this all wrong. I'm also going out tomorrow night, so if this ends up looking patchy and disgusting, then... I have a slight problem. Well, judging just by the bottom part of my leg, there's definitely a difference in colour compared to the top part and the other leg. I'm not going to lie, it's looking quite streaky already. Let's try it in circular motions at the top. I am so useless at this. Me, I'm useless at fake tan. Also me. Hey, let's show the internet how we fake tan. I really think fake tan should be an Olympic sport. This is tiring and time consuming and takes a hell of a lot of practice. So I've got to say, it is looking a bit patchy in person and it does look extremely dark. Pray for me kids, pray for me. Maybe I'll try using a bit less on the other leg and just try, you know, rubbing it in further rather than using so many pumps. But yeah, there is definitely a difference. So I'm just going to go off camera and do the other leg and then I'll show you the results. So I've now tanned both legs. I tried putting less on this one and it has gone less patchy. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but there seems to be like clumps and stuff like sticking on this leg where I put way too much. Whereas this leg, it seems to be more even and a lot less streaky. It's not perfect, but obviously in the morning we'll wash it off. So hopefully we'll even it out. But look at the difference compared to my arm. Like, oh my gosh, there's such a difference. I can only assume that a lot a lot of it will wash off in the shower. I'll be back in just a second when I finished fake tanning my entire body. So guys, I've fully finished fake tanning. As you can see, the top of my legs and my arms are more of a similar colour now. My verdict so far, it says it doesn't go patchy. I think it doesn't go patchy as long as you're only putting like a small amount on and making it go as far as possible rather than using like a lot at a time because then it can sort of clump up and go a bit streaky which I've noticed on one of my legs I'm just hoping it won't look as bad tomorrow when it's washed off as for the orange I'm definitely not seeing no tones of orange I don't know if it's picking up on camera as looking orange I've also put some on my face and my neck I don't know if you can tell in person it's definitely not giving off any orange tones it's more browns and it is living up to the no fake tan smell you know like that chemical smell you normally get it is very very subtle like if I do that, then I can just about smell it, but no one's going to go around sniffing your arm. And if they do, then 999, hello, police, please. So I'm so glad that I'm not stinking a fake tan right now. And I guess that's it. I'm going to prance around the house, let this fake tan dry, and I will update you guys 
in the morning i'll show you what it looks like before i shower and after i shower and i'll give you my final results hi guys so i'm just here to update you before i get a shower this is the current situation of my face i'm looking slightly a different color to normal i think i overestimated the amount of tan that i need to put on my face so i'm really hoping this does wash off a lot as for my arms I quite like the colour to be fair and it's not too patchy. On this arm, I did miss a patch, I'm not sure if it's showing too well on camera. That is my own fault. I can tell I've completely just missed a patch. Just whipping the legs out now and this is the colour of it. To be fair, I quite like the colour of it without it being washed off. But what I'm going to do is wash it off and then put like a really thin layer over the top if it goes too light. Professional YouTuber goals. So yeah, my legs don't seem to be patchy, I know that's only the bottom. I got cold in the shorts last night and put fluffy ones on. So yeah, I think it is a nice colour. As for the no fake tan smell, I woke up stinking a fake tan. So it hasn't lived up to that. I mean, it might the smell might go away once it's washed off. So I might not be smelling a fake tan afterwards. But as of right now, I stink a fake tan. Everyone in my house has told me I stink a fake tan, which isn't great. And as for the oranginess, I think maybe my face looks a bit orange, but that's because I put way too much on, way too much on. But my arms and legs in person, don't look orange they look like a nice bronzed color so it has lived up to that so in that sense i'll give it a thumbs up you know it's not doing too bad so far although look at my hands the nice white patches but to be fair i did go a bit overboard with the hands and it did say just skim them lightly so maybe i need to sort them out too i'll get back to you once i've rinsed it off in the bath slash shower so this is the after shower result it's not patchy at all it has come off like a little bit but obviously that's expected that's what it's meant to do but it's still a nice color i mean on camera it might look quite white still my arms are pretty okay I'm not sure whether on camera it's coming up orange or white or a mixture of both but it has got like the tiniest tint of orange but not in a bad way it is quite a nice colour actually, I really like this colour. It's not patchy at all and the fake tan smell has completely gone. Now I've washed it off. What we're going to do is excuse this hair, I'm in the middle of straightening it. I forgot to update you guys and I've just remembered. So we're going to give a massive thumbs up to this fake tan. You know what, I actually think it's possibly my favourite fake tan. You know what, it does what it says on the tin really. You know what, I think I'm going to actually stick to using this fake tan from now on, especially for £8. Like it's a lot cheaper than like the Bondi Sands one you can get and all the mother ones like fake tan can sometimes cost you like over 20 pounds for a bottle and i'm like excuse me do i look rich this is me signing out and i hope you guys will stick around for the next video by subscribing and giving this video a big fat thumbs up i'll see you in the next video